hello and welcome to Places to See in Wales episode 6 and today we're at Kidwelly Castle in Carmarthenshire, West Wales. Not only is it a 12th century castle but you may recognise it from the opening scenes of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Let's get in the mood. Come on Patsy, follow me. Well, anyway, if you were attacking the castle and you managed to breach the gate and you entered the outer ward here, you came in, then you were confronted with the inner ward and the four towers. So you couldn't break through there, you couldn't really get back out to the way you came in, and above you were all the defences and the arrows would be coming, raining in, so this became a killing zone. It was a hard place to conquer. But now you can get in for £4.50. in your general direction. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Okay, that's enough messing around. Time for some facts. The castle was established in the 12th century as a simple ringwork castle with a wooden structure and earth embankments and ditches. It was under constant attack from the Welsh tribes around the area and it was captured in 1159 by uh, Lord Rees, one of the Welsh princes. However, four decades later the Normans were back in charge and by the 1280s the powerful marcher lords were in charge and they're the ones that first constructed the stone castle, the remnants of what we see today. You shall not pass. I think it's stuck. Well, hello. Anyone there? I don't think you could work here if you were fat. <laughs> Do this corridor. What is good about this castle is how much access you've got to the buildings and the towers. In most castles they're sealed off with gates, but here you can climb the towers, you can climb the spiral staircases, it's really good. So we're on top of one of the towers now and you've got great views over towards the estuary and out to sea. So that was our quick look around Kidwelly Castle in Carmarthenshire in West Wales. So it's definitely worth coming to see, not only if you're a Monty Python fan, but if you just like a bit of history as well. And like I mentioned earlier, it's really good if you want to get in the buildings and climb the towers and things like that. It's only £4, £4.20 I think to get in. 
I mentioned the £4.50 at the moment, it's £4.20. It's open all year round except Christmas. So, we'll see you there.